All right, so next thing, the ears. All right, so ears. So what I do not want to do is squish my clay flat. Now, I do want it to be a triangle shape, but like this kind of thing, it's just, it's too weak and fragile here. It's, it's not a good connection. Now, I could take this and attach it and kind of really blend it in, but um, I, I want my ears to be a little bit thicker. Even though in reality, my dog's ears are thin, clay doesn't do well when it's real thin. It has a tendency to want to crack or break, and I don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna make them thicker. So I'm starting off with a ball of clay. It's way too, too much clay to make an ear, but I'm gonna make them thick enough so that I think it'll work. So I'm also gonna think about um, the shape of them. So they're gonna come kind of outward, and then they'll be like almost like a, a point, but then they're gonna bend down. She has those little floppy ears. So I'll probably have to experiment, but I'm just thinking about a flat point that they start at, and then just pinching the clay together and outward, and it's gonna get thinner towards the end, although not super thin still at the end. Okay, so let's squish that, pinch that together, and I'm gonna leave enough to, to be able to bend them and shape them. Okay, so that's what I've got to start with. You see the thickness there. I'm gonna take that now, I'm gonna bend the ear just keep going till you get what you want. All right, so I can see it attaches about like so. It looks to me like it's attached. Well, I know they're attached about like this, but then they bend down and over. Hmm. It's sticking out way too far though. But it does come up about like that. Let's bring it back here a little bit. Okay, so I think I can make that work. I'm gonna make another one before I attach that. Clay. All right. So that ball of clay, I only have that little bit left, but I think that this will be about right. Oops. We'll just we'll just set that down because I know that's what I want to try to do again. Yeah, you know, the pictures I look at, they're kind of stuck on about like that. So these are almost the same size, maybe a little bit longer. All right, I'm gonna stick it on like that. Okay, so we'll stick this one right here. I'm gonna do a lot with the texture in the hair, so I'm not too worried if I scratch the head up a little bit. I could always smooth it out if I didn't want it that way. All right, so this one is good here. So that will not stay on that way, so I need to weld it in good. All right, so I'm gonna seal that in nice and get it well attached. Looks like that so far. So I'm bending the ears now, and um, they've gotten a little bit dry as they've sat. So as I'm bending, I'm compressing them, and I'm also smoothing the edges, making sure that they don't crack. All right, puppy dog, you're gonna have to hang out with the kitty for a little bit. Hey, your ear's in my way, she says. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna get the lower part of the body wet, and then I'm gonna see about adding some texture in there. Now I'm gonna keep it as much flat on the table when I do this so that I don't... But, uh, squish the bottom, change the shape of it much.
Okay, so I can see it's working out pretty well there. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue spraying and continue doing that across the, the back of the head and the front, a few different spots. And then I'll tell you a few other things about the coarseness of all of this here too. So what happens is um, that amount of coarseness and all these little, like these little clay crumbs and sugar or shards, a lot of times I refer to them as clay boogers, those, when they're dried and glazed and fired, they become very sharp. So what I'm going to do with this is, is I'm going to leave it like this to dry. And then after it's dry, I'll smooth it out a little bit to get rid of some of that roughness so there's less of a chance of having that happen. So I do feel like I want the sides to stick out wider on its face, so I'm going to add some clay before I get too much further along that. I can tell that it's the puppy dog has fatter cheeks than I gave her, so I'm going to just get some discs of clay, stick them on the side, weld them in, and then when I do this, I will really kind of create some texture. That might be a little bit too much, but let's see here. So I don't need it to go up so much, just down and out. So I'm gonna score this. So those both have slip on them. I'm going to attach this here and here. And man, that looks silly, but I'm going to make it work. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to weld it in to the rest of the face and make the face a little fatter. And if I don't like it, I can always scrape it off. I'm going to add texture anyhow. So, but now, so I've added a lot of texture. I got to be careful that I don't lose all that texture by squishing it. Okay, so it's looking better to me already. I can tell that this is this was a good choice. You see that how it's getting wider on the snout? I'll have to open its mouth back up here in a moment. Got to blend it all in first. So I'm welding it in good, blending it together. All right, so I'm gonna continue on with the scratching a little bit. I'm gonna work my way around the face. Obviously, the paper clip works better for smaller, finer detail. So my dog has kind of big bushy eyebrows up here, which is just fluffy fur. But I'm gonna make a couple of big eyebrows, just like we did for the sides of the snout there. I'm gonna make sure they're about the same size. I'll attach those and we'll scratch those up as well. Not like that. So I'm gonna attach those on. So I'm going to make sure those are welded in good. This ear might have to come up temporarily. And then once again, using the fork, I'm going to really add some texture in there. And blend them into the face so they don't look like eyebrows stuck on. They look like part of the face. Now I'll have to use the paper clip as well, probably.
open that back up again and make it a little bit narrower there. Oh, Barrett, that's my Bella Wookie. All right. <laughs>